Hi, it's Corrine for Cut It Home, and today I made a 3D card that I am giving to someone who has been in the hospital recently. And the base of my card is a silhouette cut. Um, I do have a video showing how I put this all together from start to finish. I will put that at the end of this video. And again, the base of it is a silhouette cut. I'll have all the information, including the silhouette cut that I used in Cut at Home's blog and the links will be in the description box below. So if you want information on all the products used today, check out Cut at Home's blog. This has a magnetic closure and on the front here I use this beautiful oval die and I added tiny little pearls to the center. I used my um, pick, pick me up stick from Silhouette. This really helps with really tiny items like this. This here is from the Heartfelt Creations paper line, which I will show you. And here's the back of it. And again, um, it's magnetic closure. I put a little ribbon so it could be pulled. And when you open it up, it has these beautiful new fuchsia clusters from Heartfelt Creations. I absolutely love them. As you can see, they are 3D flowers. And I added some leaves that I fussy cut in the back. And on the front, I added another piece of the paper line along with just a little sentiment. So again, I do have um, a full start to finish that I will put at the end of this video along with detailed photos. But allow me to show you this new collection from Heartfelt Creations. It is absolutely stunning. Again, this is the Cascading Fuchsia Collection. And let me just flip through this well-loved paper pad already. So as you come to expect with Heartfelt Creations, all of them have little tags in them, little three by four cards, and they're all double-sided. Here's another one. Let me get some of the scraps out of the way. Here are the six by six. And as you can see, the back is just so beautiful. Some more of the six by six. Here are the scrapbook pages. You could just add your photos, the back side as well. They make card fronts as well. So you can put these, you can cut these out and put them right on cards and then fussy cut these little tags out and they all match. And then here's for a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. Look at these for the card fronts. These are just stunning. They have some banners here. So that's the paper line. Cascading Fuchsia. Here are some new cling stamps. This is the Fuchsia Clusters. And that's going to be the best picture for you to be able to see. These are cling mount stamps. This is the Fuchsia Spray. These are just so beautiful when colored. This is the Cascading Fuchsia, which is what you saw me use. And here is another one up close. I just used my distress markers to color those in. And look at this stamen that comes with it as well. These are just so pretty. This is the die that matches with this, the Cascading Fuchsia. So it cuts them out perfectly for you. They also have a heartfelt sentiments, and I love that they show you what it pairs with. They have an Everyday Heroes die that have these circle stamps and then also your sentiments here. This is the decorative oval that I used on the front of the card. This is so beautiful. I cut a piece of it off, but you can see the detail in that is just gorgeous. And then we also have the fuchsia bouquet. And the vining fuchsia. So 
So check out the links in the description box. Also check out Cut at Home's blog and all of these items will be listed so you can um, be able to find the product codes for them. If you'd like, stay tuned for the start to finish on my card. Thanks for watching. Thank you.